Nova is probably the most damaging Warframe in the entire game, because a well-charged antimatter drop can do some seriously big damage. She's also pretty good at speedrunning thanks to her above average speed and her wormhole ability, and Molecular Prime, whether you mod it for speed or solo, is amazing as well. Yet for some reason, I don't see her played very often. So first time to get the regular Nova, you will have to fight Raptor in the mission Nama on Europa. And Nova Prime can be obtained by crack opening a relic. The Blueprint is an uncommon drop from the Neo N2 relic, Neuroptix is a common drop from Meso C1 relic, Chassis is a rare drop from the Neo V1 relic and Systems are a common drop from the Neo S2 relic. The regular Nova is very squishy, she only has 100 health which goes up to 300 at rank 30, 75 shields which go up to 225 at rank 30 and 65 armor which is very low. But she does have 150 power which goes up to 225 at rank 30 and she is very fast with sprint speed of 1.2. And finally she has 3 polarities, 2 Vs and a dash in the aura slot. Nova Prime has slightly higher shields at 100 which go up to 300 at rank 30, she has even more power of 175 which goes up to 262.5 at rank 30 and she has one more V polarity so she has 3 Vs and a dash in the aura slot. Now before we check out her abilities I just want to say that all the augments for her abilities can be obtained by either reaching the rank of general under the steel meridian or the rank of genius under cephalon suda and spending 25,000 standing and you can even buy them from other players. So what you're watching on the screen right now is nova's passive ability called explosive counter where whenever nova is knocked down she will knock down all enemies within a 6 meter radius. However this ability does have a short internal cooldown. Nova's first ability is called Null Star, where Nova creates 6 antimatter particles that will orbit around her and will launch at enemies that come within 12 meters dealing 200 slash damage. One antimatter particle can be launched every second and you can see the amount of particles that are currently orbiting around you on the ability icon. You cannot recast this ability if you still have particles orbiting around you and they do not have duration. Instead of having duration, power duration affects the amount of particles you summon with each cast. The radius at which the antimatter particles will target enemies is affected by power range and the damage is affected by power strength and body part multipliers, although you don't have too much control over which body part the particles hit. And one kind of nice thing about No Star is when you're casting it you are immune to knockdowns, however as soon as the cast time finishes and the particles start orbiting around you, you are no longer immune to it. The augment for Null Star is called Neutron Star, where recasting the ability will cause all the remaining particles to detonate, doing 120 blast damage in an area of 8 meters. And the nice thing about this is that you have a guaranteed blast proc in this 8 meter radius, which is affected by power range, so it's a pretty good crowd control augment. The damage on the other hand isn't too great, because even though the explosion can hit targets through walls, it will diminish with distance. Nova's second ability is called Antimatter Drop, where Nova creates a volatile orb of antimatter which you can steer a little bit with the aiming reticule. This orb will fly forward and absorb all damage you, your allies and the enemies do to it. If the orb comes into contact with a solid object it will detonate dealing 200 base damage plus 400% of all the damage absorbed by it as radiation damage in a 15 meter radius. And I should probably also note that the more damage the antimatter drop has absorbed, the faster it's gonna move. And in total, one particle or one antimatter drop can absorb 50,000 damage. Now multiply that by 400% and ta-ta, you have the most damaging ability in Warframe. Now power strength only amplifies the contact damage because it will do a little bit of radiation damage if you steer it into an enemy which is very tiny and it will also multiply the base damage which is only 200. It has no effect on the amount of damage each antimatter drop can absorb or the damage multiplication of the absorbed damage. And the explosion radius is also set in stone at 15 meters, it cannot be modified with power range mods. But hey, it is a one-handed ability so you can use it while performing many actions including reloading. The augment for antimatter drop is called antimatter absorb which will create a 3 meter sphere around the antimatter drop which will suck in bullets. And that's pretty much all it does, it will just absorb bullets from a much larger area. Now the antimatter drop has unlimited duration and will stay up until you steer it into a solid surface. 
However, if you fire off multiple antimatter drops, they will randomly explode until there is only one left. Nova's third ability is called Wormhole, where Nova simply creates a wormhole. It's a small window that will appear in front of Nova that will teleport you 50 meters forward by default, but this is affected by power range. The end point of the wormhole, or the point that the wormhole will teleport you to, will be centered on your crosshair, and it is indicated by a little swirly, for the lack of a better word, thing. The wormhole will last for 16 seconds, which is affected by power duration, and it will collapse after 4 uses. You can have four wormholes active at any given time and casting another one so the fifth one will simply collapse the first one. And just to top it off, you can enter the wormhole from any angle, even from behind, and it's a one-handed action so you can use it while performing many actions, including reloading. The augment for wormhole is called Escape Velocity, where going through a wormhole will give you 50% bonus to your movement speed for 7 seconds. The speed bonus is set in stone and you cannot modify it with power strength, but it does stack with world speed, and the duration of the speed boost is affected by power duration. Wormhole will also not stop or redirect any projectiles, and back in the day, this used to kill any enemy that would enter the wormhole, but nowadays it seems that it just teleports them to the end point. And Nova's fourth and final ability is called Molecular Prime, where Nova creates a wave of antimatter particles that will start 5 meters away from Nova and fly outwards at the speed of 5 meters for 6 seconds before dissipating. The range of this ability is not affected by power range, it's affected by power duration basically, because power duration will increase the amount of time it will take for the wave to dissipate, and on top of that, it will increase the amount of time that enemies will be destabilized for. So basically, the more duration you pump into this ability, the more range you're gonna get out of it. Now, even though the wave starts off 5 meters away from Nova, if there are any enemies within these 5 meters, they will be hit by it as well. Now, any enemy caught in this wave will be coated in antimatter, which will destabilize their molecular structure for 30 seconds. And as I've said already, this is affected by power duration. Enemies coated in antimatter will move and attack 30% slower, and if you kill them, they will detonate and deal 800 blast damage in a radius of 10 meters. And on top of that, when they're coated in antimatter, all damage dealt to them will be multiplied by 200%. Now, the damage multiplication does not apply to shields for some reason, but as soon as the enemy loses the shield, they will take increased damage. Now, power strength affects how much slower the enemy will attack and move, as well as the blast damage they will deal in that 10 meter radius when they explode. And this 10 meter radius is affected by power range. Now, one thing about Molecular Prime is that if you push your power strength below 100% with corrupted mods, instead of the enemy slowing down, they will start to speed up which has been used for years to farm defense missions, because the faster the enemies get to the cryopod, the faster the waves will go. But be very careful with this, because if you use this, for example, against the infested, they will be really fast and they will attack very, very often, making them extremely deadly. And all the range units will fire faster as well, so, you know, use with caution. And just one more thing, the explosion you get when you kill a coated enemy can trigger another explosion, so if you coat a group of enemies in antimatter and then kill one of them, you can get a lovely chain explosion from it, which is oh so satisfying to watch. And I almost forgot to say that you cannot push the solo with power strength further than 75%. So we come to the conclusion, should you get Nova or not? Oh yes you should, Nova is such a lovely Warframe, she is so much fun to play. She is my go-to Warframe when it comes to sniper rifles, bows, single shot weapons, burst weapons, basically any weapon that doesn't deal well with large groups of enemies works fine on Nova because Molecular Prime is gonna compensate for that lack of area of effect damage. Also, slowing the enemies down, especially if you have a lot of power strength, cripples the enemies more than you might think. Wormhole is great for skipping certain rooms that have giant chasms and therefore pretty good for speedrunning. The antimatter particles from Nullstar are extremely deadly in low to mid level missions, especially if you code the enemies in antimatter with molecular prime. And antimatter drop, as I've said multiple times, is the most damaging ability in Warframe. And if you want to farm defense missions, there is nothing better than running speed nova and speeding up the waves considerably. So Nova, even though she's pretty squishy, she is very versatile and you can use her in many different situations. You will not be disappointed with this Warframe, so go ahead and get her. And that's pretty much it for the video, so I thank you very much for watching as always, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.